let's have a look at the findings. So I've got a snapshot of the survey there. Now in terms of the findings, it's looking at what did they find out when they did the survey. So the first thing we want to think about is was the survey um, observational or experiment because that dictates what language might be acceptable. Okay, so if I look in more detail, I'll notice that this was just a straight survey. They went out to people, knocked on their home doors and asked them some questions. So this is an observational study. So that means that we can make inferences or suggestions. Okay, so in terms of the language that's being used, it should always be suggestive. If I had experimental results, so they had randomly allocated people into groups, and in that case I could use more um, causative language. Doing this will give this type of result. Whereas if it's an observational, I've the data suggests that this group may be more at risk, less at risk. But I can't say that they are at risk, but just that the data suggests that. Okay. So some of their findings are things like down here, they found 2.8% of respondents 15 years and older had used a sunbed. Okay, so that is one finding. Another finding is that there was no difference in the proportion of males and females that use sunbed. Um, then they've got another finding here about the differences in age groups, if there are any. Um, looking at different ethnicities is another finding. So all of these different things here are different findings okay, of their survey. So what you need to do is you need to choose a couple of these findings and then we're going to make a comment on them. okay. So that's what I want to do now. So I'm just going to take, for example, um, they found no difference between the males and females. Okay, so that's the finding. So the finding itself is no difference um, in proportion of males and females who use sunbeds. Okay, so that's what the finding was. Now I need to evaluate this. What do I think about this? Okay, well my evaluation is that this surprised me because I would have expected higher numbers of females to be using sunbeds because I my stereotype that I understand would be that females are more aware of their appearance and therefore more likely to want to um, get a tan through the sunbeds for events like weddings, um, 21st birthdays, special occasions, just look, wanting to look good over summer, etc, etc. So my evaluation is that this is a surprising finding and I wonder if it's just that people were, that females were less likely to give a truthful answer when asked about this because it doesn't tie in with what I would expect and I can't know for sure one way or the other but this is kind of my evaluation and my ideas behind it. So this is surprising because I expected a higher amount of females to use sunbeds. Um, as I expect, I expected females to be more conscious of their appearance. Um, particularly at special events such as Weddings, um, 21st birthdays, etc. Um, this makes me wonder if to a new page, this 
just makes me wonder if um, females felt less comfortable telling interviewers telling the interviewers that they use sunbeds um, as they may have felt um, judged on their use. Okay, so there's an evaluation. So what you could do is you could take any of those other findings and write me and first of all tell me the finding and then write me an evaluation of that finding.